Hey, 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 Facebook, hey, Facebook, hey, Facebook, hey, Facebook, hey, Facebook, how y'all doing? Let me turn this radio off. Alexa, off, Alexa, off. Hey, 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 how y'all doing? I actually was supposed to have a guest, but my guest didn't show up. So y'all know I like to take advantage. Alexa, off. I like to take advantage of every opportunity that I get to come before you guys and to share. I'm telling you, if you miss my um, half hour power this morning with um, Coach Diane Hill, um, I want to encourage you guys to go over to Blog Talk Half Hour Power Monday Motivational with um, the Queen Angela Thomas Smith and check it out. Um, it was a great. Um, great opportunity for her to showcase her brand and share just a little bit about what she's doing and some things that she's working on. Um, but again, y'all know, um, this month I've been taking this opportunity to share, um, some amazing people, um, that are doing some amazing things, um, across this world, um, not just here in America, but across this world, I have the opportunity to network with some amazing people out of Germany, out of um, Africa, out of um, the UK, and I'm just excited. Um, and out of the Virgin Islands, I can't forget about um, Milly Gross because she's a very important part of our magazine. She writes a section on gratitude um, every month, and um, I am forever grateful um, with that. Um, also, um, I have I, I I cannot come on these lives, y'all without um just giving a shout out to all of you guys for all the amazing things that you do um all your support um because i see what you guys what you guys are sharing um the thing that i share and i thank you because that's what it's all about us coming together and us sharing and supporting each other because it doesn't take but a second to share the things that are being put out um so thank you guys for doing that um <laughs> it seems like every time i get on these lives everybody want to start coming in my inbox but i make myself available because um i'm here to assist um my sisters and my brothers um it's time for us to heal it's time for us to stop allowing hindrance egos attitudes to keep us from moving in love so um that's what i'm here for um again i'm taking this opportunity um to shout out those 12 ladies that are a part of um healing the city and heals um thank you guys for being a part of that um I'm super excited for everything that's taking place with that project. If you're not a part of the movement, the L3 movement, um, y'all, I, I want to encourage you guys to go over, like, follow, and share that page. Um, it's a great opportunity to network, collaborate, to come together. Um, to you don't never you never know who's in your midst, um, who may be able to assist you on this journey y'all because it, it takes all of us like we got all these different parts to our body that allows us to function that allows us to do the things that we do and we wouldn't be able to do these things if we didn't have use of all of these limbs and all of these organs and all of these tissues and all of these muscles and all these cells that come together to form this body to operate and that's what this world is a lot us we all are different parts of the body and we all got to come together to make this world function. Um, going into 2022, I'm telling you, um, you got to be prepared. You got to be positioned and you got to be postured for all the things that are going to take place um, in 2022. It, it just, it was dropped in my spirit. Wait, the wait is over. The wait is over. It's just like, a lot of us, and, and I, I I got to speak for myself right now because I was put in a situation where I joined this, and, and I said I wasn't going to talk about it, but I got to clear my mind and clear my heart so that I can forgive myself and forgive those for whatever reason it may be. But I joined the sorority for whatever reason it is. Um, I was dismissed from the sorority. I never received a formal um, notification of me being dismissed. I never received a um, text message, an uh, email, an uh, inbox, uh, nothing from the founder or none of the people that are in leadership or in the organization of that sorority. And to me, I felt like 
you know, if I did something that was out of order or that was out of line, then I should have been notified. I should have been set down. I should have been told. And it didn't just happen to me. It happened to some more people. So it made me wonder. Um, like I say, one of the individuals was told that they were let go because they had an agenda that they didn't have the best interests of the sorority um, at hand. And I didn't understand that because how can you give somebody an award um, two days before you dismiss them from the organization. I didn't understand that, but nevertheless, um, I forgive them because they know not what they do. And I tell you when that word was dropped in my spirit, that <laughs> it was a wait, it was a waiting process that you, you, you can't move when you want to move that everything don't happen when you want it to happen. And delay does not mean denial that was dropped in my spirit. I shared a, um, a TikTok this morning and, um, I think it was, um, TD Jakes that was speaking. And when I tell you he was speaking, he was speaking and he was speaking the truth and he was just sharing how, you know, some people, you shouldn't even grace them with your presence. Some people doesn't even deserve your presence. Some people are not even worthy of your presence because of the anointing that's on your life. And people don't understand that. You know, a lot of people were saying, you know, somebody said something the other day about um, you really having to have the spirit of discernment in um in this season you really have to have that spirit of discernment because everybody hollering god and hollering jesus and hollering amen and hollering bless you you know they some of them living double lives some of them are doing stuff that just totally just not lining up with what they say they are doing and we in this season we have to be mindful and we have to just be willing to move on and I'm at this point, I tell you, when I was dismissed from the sorority, it seemed like God just opened doors for so many other things. It's just like everything just started happening. I started receiving these awards and I started receiving these things just out of nowhere. Things just began to happen. And I was like, oh, my God. And he just it was like he was just reminding me that. You are where you're supposed to be. You're doing what you're supposed to be doing. You don't have to try to fit in with nobody. That when I say that you are fearfully and wonderfully made, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. This journey is your journey. This journey is not for you to be being a follower. You are a leader. So you got to lead by example. So sometimes we don't understand why we can't be a part of something. And it's not meant for you to be a part of something because you're supposed to be that 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 trailblazer. You're supposed to be that one that's leading the way. And yet you want to be a part of something as a follower. And some of us, we are following people and we are doing we're helping other people fulfill their dreams. But what are you doing to fulfill your dreams? What are you doing to push your vision forth that God has placed in your heart? There are people that are dependent on what he's placed in your heart, the things that he's called you to do. Jeremiah 29 and 11, he said he had a plan for you to prosper you, for you in good health, for you to have hope in a future. And I truly believe that he's going to watch over his word until it's perfected and performed in our lives. And we cannot, we cannot get sidetracked by these fleshly things. And that's what a lot of us are doing. We're getting caught up in the flesh. We're allowing hindrance to stop us from moving in what he has laid in our spirit. Y'all, we are spiritual people. We're supposed to be operating in the spirit, but we get so caught up in the flesh so many times that we get sidetracked. We get off, we get off course. We get off the mission. And we got the, I, I was on a, um, my prayer call last night, um, Tears to Purpose um, monologue um, ministry. And um, th they were talking about, um, they were talking about accountability partners and us being accountable for each other. You know, we have to be accountable for each other. And then we have to be accountable for ourselves. When you know better, the words say when you know better, you do better. We can't keep doing the same thing and think we're going to get the same result. 
So if you know that this has not worked for 10 years, then you know you can't continue to do it for another year. So that means you got to stop and you got to reevaluate. Sometimes we got to stop and we got to look and figure out where did we go wrong? Where, where did we allow ourselves to get where we are? And how can we turn that around? What can we do to get ourselves out of that? Y'all, because there's nothing new that's going to be dropped out of the sky. Everything that we need is already in us. Genesis 2 and 7, I'm not going to let it go. I want you to get it. He said that he breathed the breath of life into you. That means a part of him is on the inside of you. That means everything that you need. All you got to do is tap into him. How do you tap into him? You got to spend time with him. You got to get to know him. When you get to know him, then you will know who you are. And you would know what you're supposed to be doing. A lot of us are walking around here saying we're walking in purpose and we're doing our purpose. But really, are we doing our purpose? Are we touching lives? Are we leaving a blueprint? Are we impacting lives? Are we impacting people? When you walk out of a room or when you walk in a room, do, do, do people want See, the internet acting crazy. They want to keep me out, but the devil is a lie. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. I tell y'all this morning, I, I shared something this morning, and then I'm going to get off. Um, I want to share just this one thing, this uh, well, a couple things that I shared this morning. If you can, I want you guys to go over and catch um, the Monday morning half hour power um motivation um i'm on every monday morning at 9 a.m on blog talk radio you can uh, you can call in um and and hear us um i usually have um coaches on but i don't have anybody signed up so i just get on and i share um whatever the word for the month is i have i've been sharing different words for the month for the month of uh i mean for the year there's a different word each month so this month um november was reset so this morning I shared a little bit about reset and I talked about the waiting season and how the waiting season was over. I talked about delay um, and how delay never means denier that he always has something better for you. And we have to understand that. So um, that's what I shared this morning. If you guys can go over and check out um, my Monday morning motivation, I shared it on my page. So if you follow me, um, please um, check it out. Um, and I look forward to connecting with you guys. If you guys would, if you're hanging around, if you're on Facebook later on, I will have an amazing guest on. Her name is Jacqueline Lulu Brown. Um, she's a minister. She's a, um, a, a, she has an academy. She's a life coach. She has, she wears many hats. Um, Going to have an opportunity to get up close and personal with her at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right here on the L3 Movement page. So if you guys are around, please come back, check out this amazing individual. She's a part of 
um, amazing platform that Dr. Carolyn um, Stevens um, is over. And um, I'm super, super excited to be connected with these amazing women. Um, they are doing some amazing things in the business world. And they are not... Um, they're not being quiet about what they're doing. They are sharing. Um, they want to see other brown women grow. They want to see other brown women come up. They want to see other brown women um, take their rightful place um, in the kingdom um, financially and um, in the marketplace. So um, definitely, if you can, um, if you're available, um, drop back by at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you can, um, please um check out the replay i will um upload it to our youtube if you're not following us um please go over and subscribe to our youtube it is a a l a c and aspiring authors magazine um i am angela thomas smith i'm the founder of a a a AALAC, the African American Author Literacy Awareness Campaign, and I am the CEO of Aspiring Authors Magazine. Y'all know my whole desire is to bridge the gap between brown authors all over this world and to touch on topics that's affecting our brown community that people don't want to talk about. So I want to thank you guys for all of your support. I want to thank you guys for everything that you do in your own lane for your community and how you support what I do. So thank you guys. I love you. And there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you.